Right, it's me again at the track, testy track, with a new one. So this is the new Hornby release of the standard 2MT, 260. It's just arrived today. Just checked it and uh, put front coupling on and I've put the crew in as usual. That's my blue suited crew there or um, overalls, I should say, not suited. And that driving fireman. Um, there was a problem with it as soon as I got it and it was to do, let me think, this side. It was clicking when it was running backwards and I couldn't for the life of me work out where the clicking sound was. I knew it was a valve gear. And the problem lay, zoom in, uh, probably get a screwdriver on this one so I can see where we're talking about if I can remember. And about here, I think you can see that there. As this was moving backwards and forwards, it was clicking around here somewhere. I think it was there, this was clicking on here, something like that. So I had to bend it, just bend it slightly outwards very carefully and it stopped. Something like that. Um, I had to run it upside down on the battery to see what was going on because i've got a rolling road i think i should really invest in one of those things anyway um this is it's a lovely model it's got um metal die cast boiler and a running plate i think it's metal it's got all these separately fitted parts look at the detail on that fabulous absolutely fabulous um sprung buffers no gimmicky firebox glow um as i say i picked fitted the lace uh, eight pin decoder which works fine it's cheap enough uh bought it from digi trains the uh, and i've got a real good deal on this uh from Bure valley railways so if you fancy one of these contact them you'll get the best deal right that's all i'm going to tell you i've also got another one coming in which you'll see hopefully by saturday i'll do another video um but let's run this one off after we've taken in all this uh detail it's got all the um what you call it on the top but does that move um what i'm talking about what does what move the uh fire the cab roof sometimes these move now it looks like that it looks like it doesn't move it's it's um firmly mold it's molded in the open position i think um i don't think it's gonna move oh no it does move tell a lie there you go, another little feature that Hornby kept going. Um, what else? Yeah, just super detailed. And uh, that's probably legible. Um, these came out uh, in 1954, was it? 52, something like that, in the early 50s anyway. And um, three or four are preserved. So anyway, uh, this is in the BR black with the lining, the red lining and the white cab lining or cream, I don't know which it is, with the early crest, all right? It's got the early BR crest. So let's see how it runs. It runs nicely now. I've set it on the smoothest speed imaginable, but I want it to go backwards. So change direction. And there she goes, silent as can be. I've got the um, light on this one because black doesn't show up very well without a decent light on it. And as you can hear, it's got a lovely five pole skew wound motor on it, this one. And as I say, it works well with this lace decoder I fitted, um, even with the suppressors still in it. Um, it's weird because sometimes I've known lace decoders not to like suppressors and it really messes them up. It must be something to do with the Hornby motors or three pole motors. I don't know what it is. This has got, it's not can motor on this and um, therefore it's so nice. So nice and smooth. Have a look at the crew. There's a driver on the right. And the fireman, he's 
digging out the firebox by the to it with, with a rod or something. So, just very nice. It's all in good condition, nothing broken on it. It all came in the box as it should do. And, um, yeah, I just think it's a fabulous model. So, I, I, I have ordered another one, but that's we'll keep quiet about that for now until it arrives hopefully on Saturday and I'll run it with this one and uh, like I say these are flying off the shelves but uh, like I said internet search you'll get them cheaper I got this the cheapest price possible at the Bure Valley Railway model shop so that's a part of the Bure Valley um, Railway in Norfolk is it uh, where they've got a narrow gauge railway line and this is part of, of that setup. I don't think the railway is actually open at the moment. Sorry about the dog, it's not mine. Um, intricate valve gear. I like the way all that's picked out in gold there, all those other uh, features on it. Really nice. I'll give it a little bit more. Let's pick up speed so you can show it can. Move a bit faster. There she goes. Opening her up now. Mood motor's nice and quiet. Didn't even know it was there. Um, it's got a. Uh, the coders in the tender. And there's placement for a speaker if you want it, but I'm not. I've not got one locomotive that's got steam sound fitted, because I don't like it. It's all too condensed for me. Diesel sounds different matter. I think you can get a much more in-depth sound for that, but steam is very difficult to replicate, so I just leave it alone, you know. I'd rather play a record with the proper steam sound on it than have that sort of sandpapery sound. That's how I see it anyway. It's like someone grating two sheets sheets of sandpaper together to me. And you pay an awful lot of money for that. And it's just, and it's so synthetic, you know. It's because it's so condensed. Anyway, you've seen these wagons before. I found some more that I didn't realize I had in another box. So next time I run a loose wagon rake, um, you'll see those instead. Um, see those white stripes? They're all facing to the left. That denotes that that end you can tip it up and it'll open up. Um, so say you were you want to get all the coal out of it. Um, if you tip it up from the opposing end, the door, as long as it's unlatched, will open, and that's where the coal will come out. Have a look. See, look, they're hinged doors at the end. See them? Look at those markings. The one, the very end one, the fifth one, the red one, is a tipler, which is a bit later. That's a meat wagon in there and a 20 ton Midland brake van bringing up the rear. So a nice little um, freight train. But uh, I'll use this on um, four coach branch line trains, uh, freights like this. Um, just general, general really. It's not an express passenger engine. It's class two, that's one. Um, and uh, quite a few were built. We'll just take this in a little bit more. Get a bit cold in here now because it's getting about four o'clock in the afternoon, so the temperature's dropping. So I'm going to stop this in a minute. It's just a short video to show you this one. I'll do a longer one when I get the other one in and see these two together for comparison. So uh, there it is the Hornby uh, 2MT. I'll just show you the back of the box. There you go. Standard 2MT. And this is number 78010 and uh, all the blurb is there about it you know um, yeah there's four four preserved anyway i hope you enjoyed that one we'll just catch her as she comes back into uh, view and sign off and i'll just show you this this is the pwm in bits which i'm still working on i hope to have that running again soon better than before hopefully anyway there she is the 2m 2MT, thanks for watching.